Good morning, everybody. I am Mr. Ankit Giri. I am an English teacher, especially I teach for plus two level. And today, in today's class, I am going to teach you a poem. Uh, the, uh, the title of the poem is Grandmother, and this is from Heritage of Words. It is from Heritage of Words, and this is the first poem of class two level. The title of the poem, Grandmother. G R A N G T H E R, and I said this is the first poem of class twelve, and this poem has been composed by Ray Young Beer. Ray Young Beer, and Mr. Ray Young Beer is an American Indian poet. This means uh, Mr. Ray Young Beer was born in America. He was the original native of America. This means his ancestors were uh, from America itself. And Mr. Ray Young Beer belongs to a tribe tribe means jati a group of people like in a nepal um, magar tribe groom tribe in the same ethnic groups he belongs to miss q u a k i miss koiki tribe the name of the tribe is miss koiki miss koiki tribe he belongs to miss koiki tribe and the poem grandmother on the surface level on the surface level the poem grandmother on the surface level the poem grandmother is about grandchild grandchild's love affection memory and respect r e s p e c t respect to the grandmother to the grandmother this means the speaker of this poem is a grandchild and in this poem he expresses his love respect in a whole you can say he presents his gratitude towards his grandmother and but in the surface level the fact is something different grandmother represent all the ancestors a n c e s t o r s ancestors this means the poem grandmother is also about the poet love and respect to the ancestors you know the meaning of ancestors ancestors purkharu ancestors are those people in the same family line who lived and died long time ago and other things another one is also the poem is also about the source for identity you know that in nepalese culture also some people are claiming that there is the identity crisis parichayika sankat who they are what is their root in the similar way in american context also many ethnic tribes their identity is in crisis the poet also raises his voice about the crisis of the tribe crisis of the identity this means misquicky tribes are in problems they are being extinct 
in the sense in the surface level the poem is about poet's love respect and memory to the grandmother but in the deep level the poem is about poet's tribute to the entire ancestors and it is also about poet's source for identity now let me discuss other things related to the poem the poet creates an image image of grandmother the poet creates an image of grandmother out of the words out of the words to show his emotional attachment to the grandmother he caps an image of grandmother using different sense organs sense organs like a visual image visual image he presents visual image and he also presents audio image audio image and the image related to the smell <coughs> related to the smell smell and even related to the thoughts now the poet claims claims means here dabi garnu the poet claims that if he gets chance to see the grandmother far away distance away he can easily recognize grandmother with the help of his eyes he remembers different things related to the grandmother he remembers his grandmother wearing purple scarf and holding plastic shopping bag on his hand even if he gets opportunity to see the image of grandmother the grandmother distance away miles away holding the purple scarf and wearing the purple scarf and holding the that's one shopping bag he can recognizes that yeah that's my mother that's my grandmother sorry that's my grandmother that shows the love and affection to the grandmother in the similar way he can recognize his grandmother from thoughts if his grandmother keeps his hand open him on his head he can immediately recognize that they are the grandmother's hand the warm hands the warm hands are damp hands whether they are warm or they are damp he can recognize them yeah these are the grandmother's hands this means with the help of the thoughts he can recognize his grandmother and next thing that <coughs> touch visual beside this he can recognize his grandmother with the help of the smell nose smell nose that nose is related to the smell if his grandmother comes near to him a kind of smell comes from her the smell is 
smell of root smell of root let me write over here so that you can understand what is a smell of root a smell of roots now let me talk about a smell of roots roots are the plants buried parts of the plants that are edible jangali kandamul this shows that his ancestors used to survive on the roots jangali kandamul this is the surface meaning and roots also shows the clans bamsa bamsa that is the roots this means in grandmother's smell he can find he can realize the smell of ownness smell of clan that is the symbolic meanings and finally even if the sound happens to come from the unknown place from the stones stones <clears throat> he can recognize very easily yeah the sound which is coming from the stones this is my grandmother's sound the sound comes and triggers him inside him like the fire sleeping fire sleeping fires in the night sleeping fire the fire which is covered by ashes outside it seems to be dead people understand that there is no fire but if somebody if somebody touches the ashes then after it creates the like a stings like sparkles jasari bahira bata herda nibe jasto athaba mare jasto dekhini ago lai rati ma kasai le latthi le athaba kunai vastu le chalaunda ek prakar ko prakash tya create huncha testai garera jaba kavi le हजुर आमा को आवाज सुन्छ तब उन सुतिक आगो ने प्रकाश फैंक जस्त एक प्रकार को प्रकाश को प्रभाव होस द पोएट एक्सप्रेसिज हिज लव एंड रेस्पेक्ट टू द ग्रांड मदर्स नाउ आई एम टकिंग समथिंग्स एबाउट images and symbols and the poem is very rich in images and symbols it is rich in the sense that different images has been used in the poem example grandmother is the symbol of old ancestors and grandmother is also related to the old part of the earth these are the symbols another symbol is like a root root if you talk about the root if you think that vamsa parampara that is the symbolic meanings beside this so many images are used in this poems now let me talk about images images are the pictures created in the mind out of the words arthat shabd haru le dimag ma sirjana gareko tasveer nai images ho जेनरली हमें के बुझने गर्च इमेजेस भिजुअल मात्र हो देखने मात्र हो रंग द राइट इज दैट इमेजेस कैन बी रिलेटेड टू स्मेल इमेजेस कैन बी रिलेटेड टू इयर इमेजेस कैन बी रिलेटेड टू टच 
दे आर ऑडियो इमेजेस विजुअल इमेजेस टॉर्च इमेजेस एंड स्मेल इमेजेस